So in general, are you happy with your machine? We're very happy. And it's being used a lot, and I think we've, we've printed hundreds and hundreds of prints over the last three, four years. Mm. And uh, obviously there's been a few problems, but nothing that has not been easy to solve. Yeah. How often would you say it's used, and why do you use it as much as you do? I think, I think it would be fair to say that we print approximately maybe 200 prints a year. Um, and we print in all stages of the production. Sometimes, like we, we normally make when when we start a job, we make a landscape that is normally made with three D with with a laser cutter. But then we test. We we have a meeting. We think of, of ways. We maybe we print out the the volumes that has to be put in uh, to get the program right and see how much the program actually takes up in, in real life into the, 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 the landscape. Why do you print the landscape? Because of the size, well, sheer size of it? Yeah, we, we normally make the landscapes much bigger than, than 25 by 20 by 20. Yeah. So um, the, the size limit of the 3D printer is the reason why we make it on in either with a mill or uh, laser cut paper and build base. Mm. Uh, but the buildings normally fit into the printer. Then we can print. Uh, normally, they they have ideas. They work with an idea, print it out overnight, and then the team looks at it the next morning and discuss it. And maybe cut or reduce or slice into it uh, to see if they can do something differently, mm. and then work on the, on the. In, in Maya or Rhino or whatever program that they work over day, print overnight, and then they have a new something new that they can then talk about and discuss the next morning. Which yeah. is that's a lot of the flow of on many projects that we have. So, and then in the end, they print. Sometimes they print a, a presentation model in the end. Yeah. So it's we print all the way through the project. Would you say it's expensive to run and maintain? Um, no, it's the maintenance. As long as people keep it reasonably clean, and and whenever somebody's been printing, they they do that little work it is to 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 shape it up and deliver it to the next person in a, in a decent state. Yeah, it's not expensive to maintain. Mm. Uh, do, 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 do. How often do you reckon you have to use it to be like a sensible investment for an office? No, I don't know. That just depends. And the main thing for us is that we print much, much more than when we got prints outside of the office. Yeah. So we we do much more printing. Uh, obviously, that costs us money, but it, it's it's. Um, if you compare, if we should get all these prints out of house, it would have been really, really expensive. Mm. So um, we probably use more money on printing, but that's because we print so much more. Yeah, and then that improves the quality of the work that you do and produces that, better outcomes. Absolutely. When we print a lot, we make better architecture. Yeah. How reliable would you say the machine is? I think the machine is very reliable. How reliable would you say the machine is? I think the machine is very reliable. It needs a little bit of care. Depending, how, like you said, depending how it's actually treated yeah. is the main factor. So you, if you treat it well, um, it's hardly any maintenance at all. We've, I mean, we've, it's been running 24-7 for three, four years now. Uh, and we've changed like three parts. Yeah. Do you think there's anything that can actually be improved? Um, it would have been nice if the build chamber was bigger. Yeah. Uh, we could always be nice to have even better, uh, finer models and in higher resolution. Um, and it would be nice to be able to print really, really thin stuff. But with the new powder, we can print. We can print quite. 
quite thin. But for some things, we, we go to other P2 people or other places with SLA or SLS machines to get if we need to print really fine, fine details. Yeah. Do you think there's sort of any hidden costs that when you brought the machine you weren't aware of, or is it do you see what you get kind of? I think it's pretty out in the open. Um, it's no, it's not like any big surprises. Yeah, that's good. For for your organisation, do you think colour would actually be a benefit within architecture? I don't think we use colour at all. I think for us, colour is is a waste of time and a waste of money. Yeah. Uh, if we want colour, we'll paint it because we could never get, uh, or I'd, I've never seen a three D print that would get us the kind of colours that the people in our house are looking for. Yeah. And they 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 pick very particular colours if they want colour at all, or but most of the time everything wants to be white. Yeah. Um, these are more architectural related to, to Snohetta. You've already answered this kind of, but what stages of the design process do you integrate 3D printing? I think we print in all stages of the process. We have working models, presentation models, um, halfway presentation for customers. Um, we print out details to see how one specific detail would look. Uh, we print out um, suggestions on uh, on an early stage um, quite often we have two strings to pe people in the same group who want the, the design to go in different directions and they will print both strings for a while and then see which one works and which one don't and then yeah. so it's quite a good way then to settle disputes if there's two architects that want different things it's much easier to stand around the 3D printed model and hold it and turn it around and look at it than it is to discuss a, a, a screen image on a, on a computer. Yeah. What effect do you reckon 3D printing has on Snowhead's outcomes? So like on, does it win you more competitions? Does it produce better quality projects? I think it, it enhances the architecture. I think we make better architecture with a lot of printing. Yeah. Are the models hard to prepare for a print? So, like, could anyone just take a model and print it? Or is there a lot of process you might need, need to make walls thicker, or is it...? Um, I don't know. I would say that about almost half, maybe it's like between a third and a half of all the architects in the house actually do their own printing. Yeah. Uh, which means it must be not that Pretty difficult. Easy. Yeah. Uh, this is, you just answered my next question. Does and could the whole office use the machine? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, everybody that does 3D work and work with like a, a reasonably level on 3D programs do their own printing. Yeah. In house here, we obviously have landscape architects and interior architects, uh, and a lot of them are not that much into 3D programs. Um, some of the, th the landscape architects print out things for themselves too, so yeah. Um, it's, um, yeah, if you can run Rhino, you can print. Yeah. Uh, what kind of architectural offices do you reckon are suited to 3D printing? Because if you're an office of two or three architects and you don't make so many models, there obviously it's not a smart investment, so what kind of size office or, or do you reckon it benefits all offices? I think it would benefit all offices. Um, I mean, the the cost of the machine. If you win one competition because you made something nice, you paid the machine. Yeah. So it can be a case of just one competition win, and your investment is. Resigned. If you win one decent, reasonably big job, then it's justified. How many times do you reckon you've actually paid off your machine? Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's. I I think it's tenfold. Yeah. I think that's uh, that'll do actually. I won't take any more of your time, but that's. Yeah.